Hello, Crochet Craving Crafters. It's Teresa with another tutorial. Um, I have some pictures, I believe, at the beginning of the video. But what I want to show you how to make is this beautiful scarf that I created. I just started playing around with the yarn. And this is it. It's a scarf slash shawl project and I used this beautiful Burnett premium yarn that I had talked about in a previous video. Um, it is a number four weight yarn and I'm going to be using a five millimeter hook right here, five millimeter hook. And I will take you through how I did this. It's really easy. I'm going to give this away as a gift. And so I'm just going to go through how I started it and just walk you through it. I'm not going to recreate, I'm not going to redo it. I'm not going to make another one. But I think it's just so pretty and this yarn is gorgeous. Look at it. Sparkly. This would look so nice on your shoulders for an evening. I mean, if you go out to, even for a wedding, anything, it's, it's pretty enough. That sparkle gives it a little bit of glimmer and so it makes it kind of dressy. But it can also, you could wear it with your jeans if you wanted to. It's really nice. Anyways, I will be right back to start the tutorial. All right, so in order to start this beautiful project, grab some yarn here. Make a slip knot. Like so. And you grab your hook. And we're going to chain 71 chains. So let me just start with a few. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm going to finish my 71 chains and I will meet you back once I reach 71. So just make your 71 chains and meet me back. Okay, we are back. I've made my 71 chains. And that's the foundation chain. And what we're going to do is create a single crochet in the second chain from hook. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through both loops, go into the next chain, insert your hook, pull up a loop, Pull through two loops, insert your hook, uh, pull up a chain, pull up a loop, <laughs> pull through two loops, insert your hook, grab yarn, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, and we're just going to go all the way across to the end of the chains. So when you reach the end, and when I reach the end, I will meet you back. All right, I've single crocheted across the entire row of the foundation chain to the very end. And now what we do is we chain six chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six, turn your work, and then we're going to make a single crochet in the sixth single crochet from the previous row. One, 
So let me just count. It's hard to see the black, but one, two, three, four, five, six. So insert your hook in there and make a single crochet like so. And then we chain six again. So it's always six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go again into the next sixth single crochet. One, let me see if I can count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, make a single crochet in that space. And then we again are going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we are again going to go into the sixth single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. So insert your hook in again into that sixth part. Make a single crochet. You're making this loopy looking, lacy looking stitch. So just carry on this way. So we're going to do another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to go to the sixth single crochet all the way. And I'll meet you near the end of this row. So I'll meet you back. Okay, I'm almost at the end of the row. So I have, I don't even know if there's six. One, two, three, four, maybe five. But that doesn't matter because what we're going to do is single crochet in the very last stitch. Like so. And we're just going to keep carrying on this pattern just so do six chains one two three four five six okay and then we're going to turn our work let me grab some more yarn here and this is what we're going to do now so we're going to go into the middle of this this six chains so i go to this single crochet here and I, and I count about three. One, two, three. So it's about the middle. And I just insert my hook in that middle um, chain and make a single crochet like that. And then we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to do the same thing here. You're going to go to the single crochet here and then just count to about the third chain. One, two, three. Insert your hook and make a single crochet in that middle stitch. And then we're going to chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're just going to keep doing this all the way across. I'll do one more with you. So go to this single crochet and count about three. One, two, three. Insert your hook in that stitch. Make a single crochet and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So see the pretty pattern that's coming out? It's just very nice and lacy and so let's continue that until we come to the end. I will meet you back when I get to this point. So meet you back. Okay, so I'm almost at the end of the second round or second, not round, second row. So I have to make, so I made a chain six and now I have to make a single crochet in the center of the last six chains from the pre previous row. 
So count one, two, three, so approximately here in the center of that chain, of the six chains. We'll do that again. Go into that center and make a single crochet, like so. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then go right to the very end of the previous six chains for the previous row and make another single crochet and that's the end of, the, of that row. So what we do now is chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six, turn your work, and go again into the center of the six chains that you made just now. So around the third chain, which should be the center, approximately. One, two, three, make a single crochet, like so. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we are going to make another single crochet in the center of this six chain chains from the previous row. Like so. Do you see that beautiful pattern that's starting to form? It is so pretty easy and all you have to do is know how to count to six and then three six and three six and three so you're doing always six chains and a single crochet in the center of each of those six chains all the way across so you just continue this pattern when you get to the end here so you're gonna get to the end here make six chains and then attach them here. And then chain six, turn it around and do the same thing. And you just keep repeating that over and over and over. And what I did, I just kept doing that until I finished this whole ball of yarn, gorgeous yarn. And this was what it came out to. It's just so pretty. It's pretty long. It's gorgeous, and I'm giving it away as a gift. So what I did at the very end, again, once you reach, you're almost at the end, I, I used up every single last bit of yarn. I hardly had any scrap at all. So what you do at the very last, let me just quickly show you. Let me get this out of the way. Oops, dropping stuff everywhere. <laughs> So what I did when I reached the end, because I, I almost finished my yarn, was I just repeated another row of single crochets at the other end. And that's it. That's it. It's very simple, very beautiful, very elegant, and very easy. So that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you make this pattern. It's really easy. It only took me... How long did it take me? Maybe a day total, uh, on and off, uh, over a weekend. And because I had to get it done, because I have to give it away as a gift. And that was it. It's really easy. It's it's pretty. I just thought of it. Just something that I thought I would put together to give away as a gift. And that's it. So this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it and leave me a comment if you have any questions about this pattern and uh, share it if you think somebody might be interested in making it. I hope you try it. Um, if you do try it, take some pictures of it and post it on my Facebook page which is Craving Crochet. I appreciate your time with me and hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll talk soon, and we'll see you soon in, in the next tutorial, or the next yarn haul, or the next vlog. 
whatever comes, or the next live, <laughs> whatever comes first. I'm not sure. Anyways, I thank you for watching and talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Let me show you something.